Hi guys! Well, if you are wondering who this crazy person is on your screen there, um, let me just introduce myself. My name is Misty and I am a reseller on the eBay Poshmark Mercari and now Etsy app. Um, so I just started an Etsy store to post some of the vintage things, which <clears throat> I sell clothing on Poshmark. The vintage is really where my heart lies. Um, I have a brick and mortar antique shop in Southern Indiana called Wildflower Antiques. And we are open on Fridays and Saturdays in Bedford, Indiana. <clears throat> and um, I have a lot of mid-century items that don't really sell very well. Well, they do, but they just sit for a long time in my brick and mortar store. So I think I'm going to gather them up, um, the ones that I've had for a while, and I'm going to list them on to my Etsy store. Um, I only have a couple things listed. I was just trying to play, kind of playing around with the app just to see um, how the interface is and how easy it is to list things and how um, well I could cross post things. So. I'm working on that. So if you've looked at my Etsy store, it's a hot mess right now. I think I have 12 things listed. So, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, so I'm going to be working on that. Yesterday, my dad and I decided that it's been a while since we have been into some local antique stores. And we kind of wanted to see what the competition was. Um, and, you know, as far as pricing goes and... Um, and, and that sort of thing. And it's just kind of fun for us to go and look at and see what all is out there. And sometimes you see things and you think, I had that and I sold it for a lot less than what they're selling it for. But that's the way that antiques work sometimes. Sometimes you'll go into an antique store or an antique mall and you'll see some really cool things. And then a year later, you'll go into that same antique store and it's still sitting there because they have them priced too high. Um, my rule of thumb in my brick and mortar store is to move things. I, I know what I paid for things. I know what I need to make out of things. I'm not going to over gouge the price because I need to move that th those things because I like to go sourcing and I like to find new things to put in my shop. So if you're ever coming to Wildflower Antiques, just know that you're going to get a good deal. Anyway, um, let's go ahead and go on with the haul. Um, from the antique mall, we really didn't get a whole heck of a lot because the prices were high. Um, and when you're a reseller, reseller, uh, you know, your cost of goods are very, very important. So we did hit up a few booths that had things that were marked on sale. We found a booth that things were 20% off and things were 50% off. So we really hit the 50% off booth hard. Um, a lot of things have been picked through. But I think we found a couple good things. So I'll go ahead and get started with the things that I found from the first antique mall that we went to. We went to an antique mall and we went to a flea market. Which, flea markets, I love so much. Especially the ones that you kind of have to dig through things. And they don't really um, know what the market is on certain things. Um, and so those are my favorite ones to go to because you can really get some good deals. Okay, but I'm going to start with the antique mall that we went to first. Um, the first thing that I picked up was this chicken. I was looking around. I have a couple things over there I'm going to have to go and get that I thought I had everything ready when I was filming this video, but that wasn't the case. Anyway, I have this chicken. Um, and this, the antique mall, they take the prices off. So I'm going to tr really try to remember, um, what the price was on this guy. Um, he was in the 50% off booth. Um, his coloring is just so good. He's got some teal and some pinks and some reds. He's a, not a chicken. He's a rooster. He's a rooster. Um, he is in excellent condition. He has no chips, no cracks, no no, he has no marking either, so I don't really know exactly what he is. He's just a um, kind of a pottery art piece. Um, they originally had him marked at $20, which is really high for this guy. Um, 
so he was 50% off, so I got him for $10. So um, um, I probably will have him listed for about $15 in my shop. He is just so pretty. And um, this is not where collar has come off. That's just, he's part white there. So he isn't on this side, but um, I, I looked because I was nervous that some of this coloring, his paint had rubbed off, but it didn't. I need to clean him up. He's a little dirty and all his little crevices here. You have to be very careful when you clean these guys though, because you don't want the paint to come off. So um, just a little bit of soap and a little bit of warm water, very lightly, lightly clean him. I probably will test clean him a little bit just to make sure that none of um, his paint will come off. So just very lightly, lightly rub. Baby wipes are also a good way to clean these guys too. So anyway, Mr. Rooster, he's the first thing that I picked up. The next thing I got that I love, and I, this is, you know, sometimes you want to keep everything that you buy, but I don't think I can keep him. I might. If I put a succulent in him and he looks just so cute, I may end up keeping him, but he is just another pottery art. Um, he isn't marked. Uh, he is not McCoy. He is not Hall. He's just an art pottery, um, probably from the 1930s. His price sticker was still sticky on top of his head. Uh, I don't know. It kind of looks like he maybe has like half of an Easter egg. I don't know, but I think a succulent would look really cute in here. And succulents are nice in these planters because there is no drainage in them. Um, and so you have to water a succulent very, very little. So succulents or a little fern will look cute in here. And he has little gold accents on his ear and little rose accents on his tail. Um, he is flawless. He doesn't have any chips, marks, cracks. Um, but I paid $7 for him and he was half price. So, uh, well, I mean, his original price was $7. So I got him for half price. Um, and I'm going to list him in my Etsy store, um, probably $15, $18 if I sell him, um, but um, he is pretty cute. I probably will stick a faux uh, succulent in here for photographs. I mean, I'll take pictures without the succulent and with the succulent, so just to um, give the customer a little bit of a variation on that. All right, the next thing that I found now was this Gorham gnome. And she still has her hang tag on her. And these were huge in the 80s. They were a highly, highly collectible piece. Her, um, she has her, um, I can never pronounce this, but she's dated 1970, 1979 by Unibok. I know I'm pronouncing that wrong, but... She all, well, that's on the back there. You can see 1979, she's copyrighted, but she's got the great Gorham made in Korea tag right here. She's also dated, has a dated stamp right there. She's a bank, so she still has her, her stopper there and there's her little coin slot there on the back of her head. Um, Obviously, the gnomes are more desirable than little Mrs. Gnome here. But since I had, I kind of had to buy her just for nostalgic reasons, I am going to sell her. But um, I just remember these as a kid when we would go on vacation and stuff. And you would see these in antique shops or in souvenir uh, stores in the 80s. And they were just huge, just go these Gorham gnomes and I and I remember and I was, as I was looking through her little hang tag here um I just let me just show you his little face just his tag look at his little face they're just so detailed um but I remember that inside they had this little book here so you could give it as a gift um and then it says it's a well gnome fact on the inside um, and it has the, their little their little story about them. Let me turn to the first page. Um, so there's just this little storybook inside of the tag, and so and I remember that thinking as a kid how neat that was that it had the little storybook on the inside. Um, and then um, so anyway, that's the back of it. Little gnome facts. So. 
I thought she was pretty cute. I paid three dollars for her. Um, there, I mean, there isn't. They don't sell for you know a huge amount of money. Um, since she does have her little hang tag, she will go for a little bit more. Um, probably fifteen dollars, I would say. Um, but I am going to uh, list her on eBay, and um, I'll cross cross list her onto Etsy as well. Okay, those three things. All right, I got, I'm trying to look here to see, okay, I have to go, I'll have to stop my filming to go over there and get the other things, but I got this little tray, I got this for myself, I paid $2 for it, it's just a child's tin, it's part of like a little tea set or a, a, a just like little children's dishes, Um, but I just loved it. It just says ponytail. It's dented right here. But I'm just going to put it on my display shelf just because I think it's cute. Look at the graphic on there. Just a little girl. She looks like she just came home from school. She's kicked off her shoes. She's having a little snack. She's got her hair up in a little ponytail. I just love the graphics on it. So I'm keeping this for me. The back has a little bit of rust here, but I didn't care because I bought it to keep. Um, just to put on a little shelf with my other little knick-knacky things that I love and can't live without. All right, this next thing we got, and we're still at the antique shop, and I love it. And she was in the 50% off booth, too. She is um, Union Products Incorporated. She's not a high-end um, thing, but she's she is vintage. She's probably from the 60s or 70s. She's not dated anywhere, but she's plastic. She is a Christmas tree topper. She is a very dirty girl. I've got to clean her, but she is a Christmas tree topper. Um, or actually she's not a Christmas tree topper. I'm sorry. She's just um, Not like a blow kind of like a blow mold, but she just has a light that goes in there and she just illuminates the room um, I'm keeping her. Um, I love vintage Christmas um, So I am keeping her uh, I have a ton of the little lights uh, Replacement light bulbs that you just kind of stick in there and they have like little brackets that keep them in place um, but I paid she was four dollars and she was 50 percent off i paid two dollars for her so i really liked her i'm keeping her she's mine she's got a little bit of paint issue on her face but i'm not i'm just going to clean her i don't i don't when i find these i don't like to repaint them or do anything to them um i mean i will clean her because she's pretty dirty girl um but i am keeping her she, she is mine okay and the next thing I'm going to have to go and get. Okay, I'm back. So this next, there's a couple more things that I got at that one antique store. All right, this next thing is so cute. And I did pay up for this. Um, and I may keep it, which is why I kind of paid up for it a little bit, just because I really, really like it. Um, I paid $15 for it, which for me is a lot of money. But it's just this cute little chicken planter. And she is uh, like a Tiffany blue. I don't know if it's coming across on camera very well. But she's got her built-in tray. She is not McCoy. She is um, CDP, which is, I don't know, it, half of the tag is mi missing. But it just says CDP. I'll have to look up. If this isn't anything. I love McCoy pottery. So she's very reminiscent of a McCoy pottery piece. Um, I've got a little McCoy flower vase that I will that I will grab and show you so you can see what the marking is. Um, it's something that I found in the back of the shop um, when I was putting some new things out. And sometimes I'll find things and I'll be like, nope, that's going home with me. And this little McCoy vase was one thing because I collect them. Um, but I just think that this is just so cute and she's got the, she is, um, she does have a drainage hole inside so you can put, um, you know, a little flower or something in here so it can drain, but I loved it. So she's very, very brushed. She's a very, has a brushed glaze on her and she is in pristine condition. The inside here, you can just tell where there once was a, you know, a little pot of, or flower there's a little bit of dirt on the inside but in the the bottom is her little nest 
is um, just so cute. I just love it. So I probably will keep this. Um, I paid $15 for it. If I were to sell it, I would probably list it for about $25, about $28 with best offer on eBay. And, you know, I probably would list it for about $28 on Etsy as well. So, again, I would not be able to get $28 for this in my shop. So, um, just because I appreciate this so much, I do think that I can get a higher price on it. Um, and if I do sell her, then I will list her on either eBay. Well, I will list her on eBay and Etsy. Okay, the last three things that I got from the Antique Mall are these. Oh, I love these so much. They are Libby Glass. They're not marked, but I, you know, they are marked. I'm sorry. They're this, the stick. I just knew, I knew they were Libby Glass. And I'll peel away this little price sticker so you can see the marking. Can you see that little? It almost looks like the Laverne and Shirley L. Can you see it right there? It's just an, I'm trying to get it kind of see it there um it is just a, a cursive l um so they are libby glass um these are the carousel glasses and um, they're frosted glass this one has the little deer on it and this one has the lion let's see this one doesn't have isn't marked libby i don't think well, this one isn't marked Libby. I mean, it is Libby. This one is. Maybe it is, and it's just underneath the price sticker there. I'll have to look. So, here is the giraffe and the lion and the deer. Um, so, I wish I had a whole set of these because um, if I had six of them, I think there were six or eight in a, in a complete set, and they were selling for like $45. Um, I paid $2 a piece for these guys, and um, the Lion sold for about $12.99 just by itself um, on eBay. Um, the Giraffe and the Deer, I think, sold for $6.99 on eBay. So I probably will list them individually um, to get kind of more bang for my buck. Um, these will be perfect for Etsy because of the vintage nature of them and just the, the, the colors on them. I love the little deer here with the aqua and white. Um, so these I will list individually on eBay and Etsy. And that is all that I got at the antique mall. Um, so I think I spent... Uh, $30 maybe. I don't even think that much there. Um, I, oh, actually, I did get this there too. Sorry. I'm, I should have separated these a little bit better. This is not a vintage piece. Um, and she left the, the tag on it. But I paid two fifty dollars for it. $2.50. Um, I have sold the this style of a stoneware mug before. Um, but this one is Case Knives. So Case is a knife company. They make knives. Um, and then on the side, it, it, you know, obviously tells you the first choice in of knife collectors. Um, and it is by Onion River Pottery in Burlington, Vermont. Um, and this sold, and it's an excellent condition too. This sold on eBay for about, I think, 15 to $18 for this mug. And I love mugs. I love finding mugs. I love selling mugs. Um, you tend to have mugs for a while that they don't sell typically right away, depending. Um, but in this 250 is hot is a, is about the max I would spend on a mug. Um, but I've sold this style before, so I know that I can sell it. And I don't like to pay over a dollar for a mug. Um, I especially like to pay like 10 cents for a mug when I go to a yard sale. Um, but, um, I thought this was worth it. Um, and I will be listing this on eBay. So case knives mug. Um, let me just kind of glance through here and make sure. Yeah. Everything else I got at the, no, I got this. All right, new 
new trend that I have noticed, um, and I love them myself, and I'll try to take a picture of what I've done with my cutting boards, but cutting boards are kind of the new thing, the new thing to look out for. Um, people are la layering them um, on their backsplashes. They're using them um, just in to put a planter on and a display. Um, they are kind of the hot thing to be looking for. You can get them at Goodwill all of the time. Um, uh, plain ones, some that are painted. The one that I got yesterday has really neat coloring on it. It had a tag on it, but it's so roached. I cannot make out what the tag is. I can probably kind of do a, do a search and look up the graphic. Um, they are, it, it is not in English. <laughs> so I don't know. I think these are supposed to be strawberries. So, um, I liked the graphic on it. It still has the little leather hang tag here. Um, but people really don't hang these anymore. They'll layer them. So they'll put them one this way. Actually, they do a lot of these just plain ones this way. They'll put another one this way, and then another one that way. I'll try to insert a picture so you see what I'm talking about. My favorite thing about this cutting board, though, was that it was 97 cents at Woolworths at one time. That's my favorite thing about this whole thing. So, again, I may keep this. I don't know. I need to, I, I'm looking at my cutting boards that I have all in going in different directions right now thinking that I may end up adding this to that little assortment but cutting boards be on the lookout for these I paid two dollars for this cutting board at an antique store so it's something that's not really catching on at the antique stores yet um, but um, I think it's going to be a new trend that's going to um, they're gonna get harder and harder to find so just be on the lookout for wooden vintage wooden cutting boards uh, all right, and I'm going to get the stuff gathered for the next round. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and show you things that, that we got from the flea market, which was fun. I love going to flea markets, just like I said, because you never know. You can find all sorts of things. Okay, so the first thing that I found at the flea market, I'm keeping. Uh, anyway, it's this, and I'm going to, I don't want to... I'm going to squeak it, but my dog will flip out But because she wants it. But it's just this cute little rubber. Okay, she didn't flip, flip out. It's just a little vintage rubber bunny. Uh oh, there she is. Let me turn the camera so you can see. <laughs> you can't have it. She wants it though. Okay. So it's just this little bunny that she can't have. Um, but I have like all, uh, several little shelves that I put these little knick-knacky things that I love. And so this is going to go up on my little Easter shelf. I got to give it a little bath. He's a little dirty. He was 25 cents, so I could not resist. He is stamped um, Peoria Plastics on the back. Right there. You can't have it, Bella. So I got that little bunny. All right, the next thing I got was this little wooden salt and pepper shaker. I collect these. She's like going around all parts of the table so she can get that bunny. Um, I collect wooden salt and pepper shakers. I especially like the ones with the little chef hats. Um, this was a dollar, um, so I just got it just to add to my collection. So this is something that I'm giving to my my dog is Bella, and she's literally going around every corner of the table trying to find the bunny. She can't have it. All right, so a little salt and pepper shaker. I'll insert a picture if I can figure how, out how to do that of my collection. Okay, the next thing I got at the flea market is something else that I'm keeping. I'm going to try to show you. I think this is it. This is the only other thing that I'm keeping in, this, in, in, in my flea market finds. Um, it's just this little trivet. I've had these before and I sell them at the shop all the time, but I just love the saying, come in and sit, can't read backwards, come in, sit down, relax, converse. Our house doesn't always look like this. Sometimes it's even worse. 
So I'm keeping it. I paid $3 for it, um, which in my shop I sell these for about $6. So um, I was still staying within my price justification. Um, but you can hang these on the wall, which I'm probably going to just like lean it up against my cutting boards. So, because it is a kitchen trivet. So I don't want to put it like in my family room. I'm going to put it in the kitchen. All right, so everything else that I got at the flea market, I am selling. Um, the first thing I got, um, I paid a dollar for this, and it isn't worth a lot now, but I think eventually it might be. But it is just this little miniature um, uh, Yellow Pages mug, Bell Systems Yellow Pages, because Yellow Pages are really becoming a thing of the past, and I keep looking over here, and my camera lens is right there. Pardon me. Um, so it's a very thin little, um, just a little... It's not a cappuccino mug. I think people will consider these cappuccino mugs, but back when this mug was made, there wasn't people drinking cappuccinos as the day as they are today. Um, so I'm just scraping off the price tag residue. Um, but like I said, I paid a dollar for it. I've got to clean it, obviously. But just to sit on a shelf, it's just nostalgic, the Yellow Pages, which are a thing of the past. I paid a dollar for that. I mean, I know that they still have the Yellow Pages, but does anybody use the Yellow Pages? I know the Yellow Pages comes in all the time wanting us to buy ads for the Yellow Pages and we're not going to do that. All right, these next two, two mugs. Yes, no, just this one. This one mug was in, no, actually these, both of these. Um, they were in a, um, a box and it just said mugs, 25 cents. And I like a 25 cent mug. So this is just that Sandra Boynton. I can never say her name right. They're her, her, her last name. She also writes children's books as well. But there's her little name. And her first name is Sandra. But it's just this little cat holding flowers. And it says, wishing you all the best. Um, they are made. Um, it just says it was made in Korea. Uh, by recycled paper products. I think, I want to say that Hallmark. Our American Greetings maybe had distributed some of these as well. This is not a huge money maker. They sell for like eight dollars um, plus shipping on eBay. Um, but for twenty five cents, I mean, I may even. I mean, if I do, if I don't sell it, then I'll keep it, which is fine because it's a cat and it's a coffee mug and it's got cute flowers in it. So for a quarter, I thought I would try it, even if I sell it for eight dollars. I'm still good with that. This one was in there as well. This one I couldn't find comps for, but it is, at one time they wanted $3 for it, but it got stuck in the 25 cent box. Maybe that's not a good thing, but um, it's Goodyear. It has really neat crazing on it. Um, if you can see kind of the crazing, you can see right here. It looks like a bunch of like shattered glass all over. It's not though, it's just the crazing in the mug, which can show age. Um, it's stamped USA on the bottom. Um, so on one side, it's Goodyear. And on the other side, it says smile if you're a Goodyear dealer. So that goes to show me that this was probably a mug that was given to Goodyear Tire dealers um, as a promotional thing, a promotional item. Um, so, you know, just the subject matter itself um, will help this one sell. And I had seen Goodyear mugs all over the all over the place um but i couldn't find this exact one so i don't know i'm gonna give it a try but I, it was definitely worth it for a quarter for me so good year mug all right this next month i paid 50 cents for i have sold this mug before for about 17 dollars plus shipping it's a restaurant where it's tuxton um it's made in China, so it's not like old, old, uh, but it's just a nice restaurant wear piece. They sell these in the Waffle House restaurants, um, so for 50 cents, it was worth it for me. I have sold these before. They're a nice, thick restaurant wear mug, and you know, you know restaurant wear. It's really thick, like compared to like your mug that you will buy normally. You can see the difference. See how thick the restaurant the restaurant wear mug is compared to just your average everyday mug. So these are heavy. 
So that you do have to watch shipping on these things because they are quite a bit heavier than a just your run of the mill coffee mug. All right. The next thing I got, I was very excited about that I and I didn't even look it up because I thought, "Oh, that's 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 a great thing. I'm so cool. I'm so happy that I found this, but it's not that great. I paid $2 and they're just floppy disks. But they're for um, formatted for Macintosh. I don't know. They sell for about eight dollars online, so it wasn't that great. But they're sealed. I don't know. I tried. Sometimes you don't always find things that that are as great as you think that they are. I mean, I'm still gonna sell it. I'll still make very little money, but I'll know not to go that route again. All right, this next thing I bought, I, th I paid 50 cents for, and this is another thing, gosh, that, okay, they put this, it says 50 cents, and then I didn't even see as is. You want to see why? I was so excited. There's, there's salt and pepper shakers. Stanley salt and, and, salt and pepper, pepper shakers, so the little ballpoint ones. I was so excited, and then I got home after I paid 50 cents for these, and I saw, oh, look how cool. They're kind of atomic, and they have this little, like when you shake, so this, this salt comes out here. It even has some old salt in there. But then I looked at this one. There's no bottom to it. So, probably worthless. What I probably will end up doing is just keeping this one and maybe I'll find another one at a yard sale. I don't know. So always look at things before you buy them. Don't be like me. But they're very atomic. They're very cool. They're just one of them's broken. Anyway, okay. The next thing I bought is this little lithograph uh, recipe box. I about said lunch box. It was um, it was a dollar ninety nine, but this was an a half price, so I paid a dollar for it. Um, it doesn't have the recipe cards inside, but look at that color on the inside. Um, this is not in. I mean, it's in rough condition. I'll put this in the shop. Um, people do collect these. The nice thing about these things is, like, you can for just like a display on a shelf, so you can have your little display and then you can put things on top of it. That's what I do. So people like them just for that. I mean, this if it, it the coloring on it is neat, even with the rust. But it's just a display piece. So for a dollar, sometimes I think of these. I need to rescue it and give it new life again. So if I don't end up selling it, then I mean I'll use it in the shop just as a platform to display, you know, other other things. So there's that. All right, the next thing I got was this was also 50% off um, so it was four dollars and so I paid two dollars for it it's just this little Amish there's the top of it little Amish tin needs cleaned up a little bit but it has a little Amish schoolhouse and there's the kids playing look at the little bear isn't he cute a little sled um, it opens well, and this is not like ancient, ancient. It's probably from the 80s, but um, I like the coloring on it with the orange, or the orange, the red, and the teal. Um, so somebody will like this. And again, just to put it on a shelf, and you know, you can, you know, stack them and stuff. Um, I had a customer come in and bought a bigger tin, and they use it to store cat food in, which I thought... You have the coolest cat food container in town. So, I like when people come in and they, they buy something that's vintage and then they will, you know, repurpose it and use it for something functional in their everyday, everyday today um, things. All right, the last thing I got from the little um, flea market is really cool and I was very excited about it because I thought it was going to be just more than what it was. It is this little eight millimeter movie camera. Um, it is made by Univex. And the cool thing about it is that it works. 
Maybe. If I could, oh, if I can figure out how to turn it on. How did I do? Oh, yeah, like that. Okay, well, it did work. How you like that? You just have to hold it in on this really hard. And there, I mean, there is, there is film in here. It's not, it's not, you know, wound through the device, but here's the reels with the film. It says, you fill the spool here and you empty the spool on one. This is where the film goes. So it was working well. So maybe, you know, as with everything that's electronic, um, I'll give it to my husband and it'll work great for him. And as soon as I touch it, it won't work anymore. So it's not, it does work, but it's not working that great for me. It was working great for him. Anyhow, um, I paid, uh, it was $8, but it was half price. So I paid $4 for this, which is a great deal. And they sell for about $25, um, online. Um, so I probably will put it in the shop for a while. Cause I do have a lot of customers that come in that like vintage cameras. Um, and I just think that, I mean, even just sitting on a shelf, if you're a camera collector is just super cool. So I will list this for $25 in the shop. So that is all I got from that, um, antique store. So that was my vintage antique day. Um, I did go to Goodwill and I'm going to, going to film a haul, um, on that, but that's, that's going to be for another video. So, um, but I found some really good things at that Goodwill. So, um, some really good things, at the Go like shockingly good things, a couple shocking good things that I found at that Goodwill, um, which is just my local Goodwill here. Um, so I'm going to, um, I'll be putting that video out in the next couple days. Um, but for, th but, but that's it. That's all we got. Um, so, uh, we like to go out and just kind of see what the market is and see what all the other antique places have to offer. So, um, that's it. So just tune in, make sure that you like subscribe and comment. I'm going to be posting um, both reselling as far as clothing and Goodwill hauls, as well as vintage and antique videos. So make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the little notification so you can get notified of when I post a new video. Um, I'm working on trying to do two videos a week. Um, one that will be more, um, you know, reseller soft good related. And one that will be more reseller hard good and vintage related. So, um... And I'm still working on trying to do a what sold video. So that is all I have for today. And I hope that you guys have a great day and keep hunting for the vintage and keep giving it new life. Um, we all recycling in this reselling field and just keep recycling and keep keeping those vintage things alive and well and useful. Until next time, see you guys later.